the pipe A takes A R's and B takes B R's. Now from the first statement which says A and B together can fill a tank in 3, 3 by 7 hours, we can say that A B by A plus B is equal to 3, 3 by 7, right? Let us simplify this mixed fraction further, we will get what? 21 plus 3, 24 by 7. So when A and B are working together, they take 24 by 7 hours, right? They take 24 by 7 hours, right? You know the shortcut formula, right? When two persons or two pipes are working together, we can use A B by A plus B as a shortcut there. So 24 by 7. What is the second equation? B alone takes 2 hours less than A alone to fill the tank completely, which means B will be equal to A minus 2, right? A takes A hours, B takes B hours. So according to this statement 2 there, B will be equal to A minus 2. Now these two equations in two unknowns can be solved, right? A and B are the two variables and we have got two equations. So by solving these two equations, you'll be able to find out A and B respectively, okay? Now what is he asking us to find out? The time taken by A alone. So you have to just work here and arrive at the answer. That's one way of solving it, right? The other way of solving this question, right? This is one method where we have used a shortcut formula, but I'm sure, uh, you know, the equation, solving these two equations is not as easy as, as it appears to be, because we will get a, a kind of one linear equation in terms of A and B. The other is also a linear one, but one of the terms involved here is the product of A and B. So that may make it a little complex. Anyway, when you try solving it through these equations, you'll figure that out. So let us anyway look at a smarter way of solving this question. Now, what can be the other way? Let us assume, I mean, we can now go by unitary method. You know that if the time required by two pipes together is 24 by 7, their capacity is 7 by 24. Yes or no? Time and capacity are reciprocal of each other, right? So if A and B together can do the work in 24 by 7 hours, how much of work do they do per hour? 7 by 24 units, right? 7 out of 24 units is done per hour. So you can go by the unitary method, right? So let's look at method number two. What do we do in unitary method? We know that uh, 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 7 by 24. Yes or no? 1 by A, the capacity of A working alone plus the capacity of B working alone is equal to the capacity when both of them together work, which is 7 by 24. How do we know this 7 by 24? From this time 3, 3 by 7. Okay, take the reciprocal of that. So 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 7 by 24. Again, we know that B is equal to A minus 2. So the second equation remains the same, B equals to A minus 2. So what do we get here? 1 by A plus 1 by A minus 2 equals to 7 by 24. Now what happens? It, it appears, I should clear this up because it looks like the next step. It's not in the next step, this is method number 2. This is method 1, right? Here's method 2, where uh, we have simplified it uh, to some extent, right? Because we have only one equation in one variable, right? 1 by a plus 1 by a minus 2 equals to 7 by 24. So this one equation can be solved to find out the value of a. But still here there's a problem because it gives us a quadratic equation, right? When you work on this equation, you find out that this is a second degree equation in terms of a, which can be solved, right? Not that it cannot be solved, it can be solved. But is there a better way of doing it? Yes, there's definitely a much, much better way of solving this question. And that is method number three. What do we do in method three? Just to go by the options, right? If, if you think that options, four options or five options are a disadvantage in the exam, I would say that actually is an advantage, especially in questions like these, where you don't have to depend on any formula or any shortcut, right? Or any uh, method like unitary method that we have used here, right? Just go by substitution. What is he asking us to find out? How much time does A alone take to fill the tank? Which means the options given here are nothing but time taken by A alone to fill the tank. So according to option one, the time taken by A alone is eight hours. As per option one, the time taken by A alone is eight hours. If time taken by A alone is 8 hours, time taken by B alone would be 6 hours. How do we know this? From the second statement, right? Second statement clearly tells us that B takes 2 hours less. So if A takes 6 hours, B would take 12 hours. Uh, I mean, if A takes 8 hours, B would take 6 hours. Similarly, if A takes 12 hours, B will take 10 hours and so on. So in each of the options, the time taken by A alone is given to us, from which we can find out the time taken by B alone. Just subtract 2. And now that you know both the values, time taken by A alone and B alone, can you not substitute in the formula AB by A plus B and verify which one gives you 24 by 7? Yes, you're done. So let us use option 1, right? Let us go by option 1. What is given in option 1? 6 and 8. A takes 8 hours and B takes 6 hours. AB by A plus B. So 8 into 6 by 8 plus 6. This is 48 by, uh, sorry, 8 plus 6. Sorry. 48 by 14. 48 by 14 is 24 by 7. Done. We are lucky that option 1 itself satisfies uh, the given 
conditions, right? So we can conclude that option one is the answer. A takes eight hours.